Secretary, as is the name Force. John racing on today, so too is Courtney, who's standing by with Paul Page. Well, we're back in the Forest Pits, and of course, this is Courtney Forrest, the driver of the Traxxas Funny Car, who has just completed her warm-up, getting ready for a second round, and she's got a lot of fans, a huge fan base, but the number one fan is standing right here, and of course, is Graham Rahal. You're, uh, you're becoming an IndyCar fan following this guy, are you not? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it's always fun, you know, trying to go back and forth between races, but... Um, you know, it, it's tough. I think we've got a lot of races out here in the NHRA series, and it's hard to keep up with his as well. But uh, we do a pretty good job juggling both and trying to get out to each other's races to support each other. But unfortunately, I couldn't be at his final race because I was here in Indy. So, um, you know, he, he flew back after uh, racing there, and now he gets to come out here and support me. I got to tell you, Graham was anxious to get back, even chartered his own jet to make sure he would do it. How about that race, though, the final race of the season? 500 miles, only 20 miles of caution. Had to be exhausting. It was tough. I mean, uh, you know, our car wasn't handling too well after probably about lap 100. So to hang on to it for 150 laps or so, it was probably the most difficult race in my career that I can remember at least. But, you know, it's the same for everybody. The season's over now, so we're going to turn our attention to 2015 and hope we can do a better job. But uh, it was a brutal year, really, really tough. You know, the short IndyCar season, you, you maybe want to get in a funny car and race it a little bit? Oh, I don't know about that. John John's asked me to drive it several times. I haven't, you know, said yes quite yet. But, uh, you know, I might jump in and try it once, but it's cool. Our season's over, so I get to come out, support her a little more, be it all, all the remaining races in NHRA. So uh, one of these days, we'll see. How about you, Courtney? IndyCar in the future? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know about that. I would. I have already told him I would love to just see the look on his face after he launches in the Nitro Funny Car because when we launch at 4Gs, it throws you back in your seat good. I mean, people say, you know, you're only driving in a straight line. I mean, he gives me crap all the time, but technically it's a lot harder than it looks, and I'd love for him to get in the seat and try it out just so he can understand. Well, they love racing. They love each other, and they're together here for the big go. And Graham spent some time in our ESPN3 booth. Very very cool guy.